What's up, guys? So, got a little bit of a rant video. Um, this rant is, uh, to be called, uh, Do You Even Lift? Um, you know, when you, you know, doing what I'm doing as far as, like, putting stuff out on Facebook, YouTube, um, Instagram, Twitter, I think that's it, <laughs> um, putting, uh, putting yourself out there on all types of social media platforms, um, you're gonna expect, and I do expect 100% people to, um, hate on you, uh, laugh at you, um, but at the same time, they're still following you, so, uh, it's just kind of funny how, how it all works, because, the people that are um, talking shit about you or um, are, you know, making little side jokes here and there, uh, they're the same ones that are always asking questions. Hey, um, what supplement do you take? What, what kind of protein do you recommend? Um, do you think creatine is safe? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I mean, you know, this goes on and on. How, what, what rep range is ideal for me to build muscle? Anyways, it's these same people that are asking these questions that are talking shit on your, your feeds, whatever they are. Um, and they're the same people. They're obviously, so they're obviously, if they're tired, of what you're doing, and I'm talking about myself, uh, but this goes for everyone as well, because I'm, I'm, I know I'm not the only one that has done this and is going to do this in the future, but if they're, uh, you know, if, if they're still following you and still commenting on it, uh, you're obviously either one, entertaining, or two, releasing some good content. Uh, that's the way I look at it. And you, you have to not get too offended from it. Uh, but there's a uh, there's a thin line. And uh, I know I'm going to uh, step on a few toes here. And so be it. You know, it, it is what it is. Uh, but it's always... Uh, so, before I get into that. There's a big differential. And um, there's a big... Sorry... <laughs> There's a big difference from the people that you know that are doing it personally, uh, that you know them personally, and they're doing it as a joke, and they're doing it jokingly, uh, because you've known that person for so long. And there's a difference for uh, someone that you've also known for a while, and they are doing it, um, you know, kind of with, for whatever reason, some bitterness, some... I don't know, some hate towards you for whatever reason, but pe people do it, you know, and uh, these same people are people that I personally have um, supported 100% no matter what, what they're doing or what they've done, and you know what, um, I'll probably still, still continue to support them <laughs> unless they cross a, a, a huge barrier, a huge line, but... I'm saying this, and I'm making this video uh, for people to hopefully help them if they're going down the same path, or um, people that have gone the, down the same path, so they can relate to it. But you know, people are just gonna people are gonna hate on you no matter what you do. So it doesn't matter what you do. I can make a video about uh, I don't know, fucking walking normal, and people, oh, that's not the way you walk. That's not the way you should be walking. Or, you know, oh, I don't know, That's that step looked off. What? What the? Like, people reach so much to try and find something to, uh, to like, critique someone at. And uh, my theory behind it is they do that, for one, uh, one is insecurities about themselves. You know, take it for what it is. 
uh, insecurities and two, it's they just want some kind of recognition. Like, um, you should do this for your exercise instead of this. Uh, and they want someone else to just think of, you know, like, see that comment or whatnot and say, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. Let me, I don't know, fucking friend him or follow him. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't do it, so I don't see the reasoning behind it. I, I can't, like, wrap my head fully around why people do, um, why people do this in particular. Uh, now, I'm not talking about people that are genuinely out there trying to give good advice. Like, hey, uh, you know, uh, since I'm doing powerlifting, for example, uh, shameless plug, competing first meet October 4th, Metroflex Long Beach, be there. Uh, but, you know, powerlifting is a whole new kind of world for me, you know, as far as how to train for it and it's not normal. It's not like the normal bodybuilding routine, you know. Uh, it's not going there and kill yourself every workout. But uh, that being said, uh, I have friends that have done powerlifting and have done it for a while. And let's let's say let's say I post a video on Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is, whatever social media, YouTube, whatever's out there. Uh, they'll show their support, they'll like it, um, share it, whatever they do, uh, but they won't, is, let's say they see something wrong, they won't go out there and, you know, they won't comment like, hey fatty, uh, I would recommend you do this, this way, for this many reps, or have you ever thought about using this to protect, uh, not to protect, but uh, you know, have you ever thought about using fucking, I don't know, uh, a squat suit <laughs> to, to, uh, to, to practice or whatever, but, um, th they'll text me directly, they'll message me, they'll say, hey, like, I saw, I saw that video, um, and I think this is where you could improve on. Or I think this will help you. It won't like blast it out in the world and just or blast it out in the in the um, in the post and say, "Hey, uh, you know, squat squat looked questionable. I would do this instead, or uh, whatever. Your be your bench is your bench is a lot weaker than I thought, or or your or your deadlift form is this that the other. No, they'll." They will go out and, I mean, there's a, with the social media thing, there's, there's, um, there's a type of etiquette and a lot of people cross that line and, um, they think just because you put stuff out there constantly and constantly that, um, you're okay with getting it, I guess, or receiving that kind of etiquette. So, or, or um, cons criticism and this isn't constructive criticism. You know, they're like, hey, great job, but you look like you're going to fucking die or pass out. It's like, dude, these are the same fucking people, like I said earlier, that are asking you questions like daily or every other day. Or, hey, dude, uh, how do I eat? What, what, what do I eat to get big? I've been trying to get big. What do you think is the ideal rep rate? Like, so you're going to try and give me advice on something you have no fucking clue about and then come and ask me for advice like what what's so so <laughs> does, you know logic zero <laughs> um you know it's it just it just boggles my mind sorry i'm just thinking about stuff that's happening it just boggles my mind that uh you know, people don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and it's like, back to the uh, title of this video, like, do you even lift? You know, these people have, like, you know, they probably uh, maybe played a sport in high school and, uh, and lifted with uh, their football team or basketball team or track team or whatever, whatever fucking team they did or whatever sport they did in high school. Uh, maybe, maybe had, had a gym membership for one or two years. 
and uh, and they did. Uh, uh, you know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, and they did. They did two uh, two cycles of P90X or whatever, and and do some fucking bicep curls in the gym, like. And you're gonna tell me how to do a. You're gonna give me advice on how to do a technical lift. Like, get out of here, man. Um, and then and then the next day, ask me about it. Ask me how to do it. It makes no sense. Um, the you know these people. Okay, let me rephrase that. Going into this, like going into me knowing what I was gonna like, everything I do for the most part, it's it's thought out, it's premeditated. So I don't just do it. I don't just put stuff out there. Like everything I do is premeditated. So prior to me starting to make YouTube videos, prior to me starting to put a lot of shit on Instagram, you know, basically put myself out there, you know you're going to get this kind of retaliation. You know you're going to get this backlash. And, and you expect it. Like, I absolutely expect it. And if people were not doing it, uh, you know, I, my uh, my saying is like, uh, you know, people aren't hating on you. You're doing something wrong. <laughs> so... Uh, people are hating on you, you know, that's that's one step closer you are to being uh, successful because everybody wants to, I'm going to go into the motivational part of it, but everybody wants to drag uh, the majority of the population in the world, they want to drag you down to their level. Um, if you guys listen to, to Eric Thomas, uh, he, uh, on one of his, if you don't, I, man, highly recommend it, but um, one of his like speeches says that uh, people, uh, some people think small and they are offended by the fact that you think big. And that always sticks out to my, in my mind, you know. Um, so it, it, ignore, you know, and he continued to say, ignore those people. They're either going to love you or hate you no matter what you do. And, and that goes to anything, you know. Anything you do, like I said, like I explained earlier, I can make a video of me, you know, this is how to... Uh, jump rope this is a beginner's guide how to jump rope and you get like 50 comments like oh that's not the way you should start teaching people how to jump rope then then you teach people because all you're doing is sitting on the sidelines watching me <laughs> you know uh and, and that's all these people are there's they're they're uh they're sideline watchers or <laughs> you know they're just all they're doing is just waiting for someone like me someone like you uh, if you're this type of pers if you have this type of personality or if you're doing the same things um, to to fuck up that's all they're waiting for they're like oh, oh, oh yeah watch this <laughs> they're gonna fucking be an internet warrior uh, or a keyboard warrior and they're just waiting for the they're just waiting for that little instant for you to, that little instance for you to fuck up and you know what let them keep doing what they're doing because um it's it, it's bringing attention to you <laughs> one way or another you know it's it's getting you exposure um so uh and I, i'm saying this on video basically to myself but to to everyone that's watching as well like don't try not to get too offended by it um it's just uh it's it's harder to i guess clear or whatever get out of your system when so when it's people you know directly like people like you won't tell me this shit, like, face-to-face. -face. Like, I guarantee you, you won't tell me this shit face-to-face. -face. But all of a sudden, uh, you see me post something, and you want to, you, you fucking have been, you know, you did P90X once, or you did, what, like, let's just say you worked out for, like, th two months consecutively, and you have, uh, all of a sudden, you're an expert. Like, man, I'm not saying I'm an expert, and I'm not saying... Uh, that I've been through everything, but uh, these people that are commenting on it, it's like first of all, you're fuck, you're like you're tiny, okay? So like, uh, I mean, I know that doesn't necessarily always relate to uh, you know, or what you what your appearance is doesn't always relate to uh, your knowledge, but I know these people and, and they don't have the knowledge. Um, second of all, uh, they haven't gone through what what you've gone through or what I've gone through in, in my case so they haven't gone through what I've gone through they've 
you know, they, like, have you thrown up, I'm not trying to say I'm hardcore, but, like, have you thrown up during a workout and then gone back and finished your workout and then did your cardio that you were supposed to do after? Like, have you done that? I've done that. Have you done that? No, you haven't. I guarantee you haven't. You know, have you, uh, <laughs> have you, I don't know, have, have you done, you know, just going back to, uh, like, my bro style of work, working out or whatever, but, you know, have you gone... Have you done a workout where you do 50 reps and then you do 40 reps and then you do 30, 20, 10, increasing the weight every time and then going back pyramid, pyramiding the other way? That's a, that's Chris Gethin's program, by the way. But um, have you done anything like that? Like, have you literally, have you, have you gone to the gym on, uh, you know, two hours of sleep after a, a 10 hour work day? And still, and still did your shit, and still got your hour, hour and a half workout in, and 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 your cardio and whatever else you needed, and on top of that, take care of your bills, you, you know, everything else in in your normal everyday life. Like probably not. So the fact that you are trying to, you know, put yourself on a pedestal above the person that you're trying to uh, that you're judging or whatnot, like that makes you weak. I mean that that you're weak for that like that makes you such a weak person and it, it's kind of like a you know it's like it's like in I don't know it's like trying to Im impress a girl <laughs> it's like trying to impress a girl by putting somebody else down like people sense insecurities right away like you could sense that insecurity so if you're trying to if you're trying to better yourself by doing this like you know that insecurity is Everyone sees it, you know, including you, but you, you tend to be blind about it. Uh, and I'm not talking about one person in particular, or a few people in particular, um, not pointing the finger at anyone. I'm just saying in general, this is, this has happened to me, will continue to happen after I post this video. Um, and that's fine, but, uh, this is basically making them aware, uh, and, and this is more for people that are uh, kind of starting out doing what I'm doing, you know, as far as the YouTube and, and fitness thing. And um, so don't, you know, try not to be too frazzled about it, even though I probably look like I am. Um, it's just something I kind of want to get off my chest. It's a little rant. Um, but anyways, guys. <laughs> That's, uh, I think that's, that's it for, for this rant. I'm sure we'll revisit this down the road, um, with, uh, in another aspect of it, but don't forget to, uh, like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Uh, actually, put, I would really want to see what everyone thinks about this. If it's just me, what you guys think, you know, um, put your comments down below. And I want to see what everyone thinks. If uh, if you're experienced, if you're you know, hopefully if you're an experienced YouTuber and you come across this, holler at your boy. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, but honestly, I'd like to see what you guys think about it. Like um, maybe how you guys have handled it, how you handle it. Um, because like I said, you expect it from people you don't know. You don't expect it from people that you might see every now and then, but they're quiet as a mouse when when <laughs> when you see them. And, <laughs> when I do that, I just have the biggest grin on my face, like, all right, I'm just, I'm just waiting, you know, but of course nothing comes out their mouth, but, um, anyway, uh, um, put your comments down below, let me know what you think, um, don't forget to like and comment, subscribe, uh, if you, yeah, if you've watched this long, <laughs> don't forget to like, please, it really helps the channel. Uh, share with your friends and October 4th Long Beach Metroflex powerlifting meet first one so if you can make it out there that'd be great um, I'll see you when I see you talk to you guys soon